Hello folks, it's Frank again. Still severity normal. Now, <clears throat> the uh, Notleys have a $54.9 billion expenditure budget this year. The date today, by the way, is March, I don't know, 22nd? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly. 28th. March 28th, I think. March 28th, 2017. They just brought out their budget last week. $54.9 billion. Unfortunately, $10.3 billion of that is borrowing so that they can cover the 54.9 they budgeted. Now, when you're at home and you're budgeting, do you go, oh, I'm going to spend 300 at the grocery store. I've only got 200, but I'm going to budget 300. Really? Do you do that? No, you don't. But anyway, so that means there's 44.9 available to them to spend. Oh, pardon me. 44.6. I'm usually good with these things. 44.6. Well, let's add that to our 6.5. 44.6. Now, we have 44 and 7 is 51. We have 51.1 billion dollars. Just by bringing that tax back that we used to have, that the Previous government has totally destroyed, and this was all part of a conspiracy to reward big business, as I've shown in my previous films. Anyway, so if we had $51.1 billion, wouldn't that be enough to run the province? Well, not if, not if you're giving away free light bulbs and stuff. No. So a responsible government knowing that the finances have not been handled properly for over 40 years, would automatically institute these two measures, PST, Alberta Health Care Premium Tax, making sure they keep in graduated income tax, making sure that they're governing to the benefit of the majority of the citizens who live in the middle class, the true middle class, not the one that they give tax breaks to, the middle class, the middle the bottom, the top, the middle class. Now, so you say, oh, these taxes would be hard on the poor. Well, let me tell you something. The poor people don't pay GST because they get checks back from the government that covers the amount that would have gone for GST on their spending. Half of or, or, or most of the lower middle class gets checks back from the government. This is a way to distribute wealth from the upper classes. As medical technology keeps improving and improving, private companies keep improving it and coming out with new drugs and stuff. And so the wealth goes up to whoever has shares in those private companies. You notice that all of our poobahs are making well above what I call investor class income. Not too many people below $50,000 have money to buy shares in companies. Maybe some singles if they're frugal. Now, with $51.1 billion, this province could be run quite easily. If you weren't running it for every special interest group, trying to get the vote of every special interest group in the province, because then you have to, you have to satisfy the needs of the poobahs of every single special interest group. Let's see who Notley's for, because Notley's in there now, and now she's going to run for premier again. Which, by the way, Brian Mason used to be the leader of the NDP until Notley ran in 2008 to get a seat in Edmonton Strathcona, and then <clears throat> the old white guy vacated the leadership so that the female could come in because <clears throat> the NDP 
are governing for women, indigenous people, all oh, LG, LBG, the, the community, the alternative community. Oh, the unions. Oh, the poor. Oh, the white haired old ladies. Oh, the minorities of every kind and every description. But what they're not doing is governing to the benefit of the whole of society. And if you were to minister to those less than and the whole of the middle class, if society was to focus on this, the whole of society would benefit. Because these people up here who have risen out of the middle class and these people up here who are our ruling class our business class, our intellectual class. <clears throat> doctor, your position up here as a doctor of psychology is assured. Don't be alarmed that I'm trying going to try to help those less than included in the middle class. Your education assures you of your position. You may lose one or two thousand on your net worth every year. But don't worry, your union might get you a raise. Now, I want to say that a big thing going on that happened with this Alberta health care premium tax, the unions, public sector union bosses, and the private sector union bosses had to be in collusion with the government of the day and the big poobah masters because they didn't raise a stink when their members who pay their dues so that the poobahs in the unions can receive probably three to four times what the union members get, they pay their dues and then the union sinks their purse, agrees to not and I don't know how all this could be legal. I think maybe it's legal because in the contracts it said the premium. And if the government makes the premium disappear, they lose their money. The money that went into the purse that was part of the products of each hour's labor. Their labor was devalued. The shares in the Poobah Masters companies that employ them went up. And the shareholders gained. And the loss was to the public purse, which is owned by myself, my videographer, and you. And we have lost a great deal. I have a plan to get it back. I'm Frank Severely Normal. Until the next video.